Good day, car buddies. Welcome to another episode of Car VPH. And for today's video, we're here at Honda Bacoor. And this is my first time here. And by the way, I'm with uh, Tony and Sir Frank, the sales executive here. Uh, Sir Frank, invite mo naman yung ating car buddies. Uh, hi everyone, um, my name is Frank and I'm a sales executive here at Honda Cars Bacoor. We are also inviting you to come and visit us here at uh, Honda Cars Bacoor. We are located along Molino Boulevard and we have various display units it's here for you to check so we are looking forward to see and assist you guys so, yeah. okay thank you sir so ifa flash na lang namin sa screen yung mga contact information ni sir and kung bago kayo sa aming channel please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button para lagi kayong updated sa amin so tara simulan na natin sir yes. the 11th Gen Civic that was first introduced last November 2023. This Iconic sedan started its sales here in the Philippines since 1991, although the first Gen Civic was launched in 1972 and was called Honda Civic. The Civic is one of the best-selling automobile in the world with over 27 million units sold from 1972 to 2021. And here in the Philippines, throughout its several generations, it really made a mark on our car enthusiasts, making it the most customized sedan. And I believe everyone here who loves cars has already owned or at least uh, ridden a Civic once in their life. Because as for me, I do have a friend who owns a 10th Gen Civic RS. Shout out nga pala kay Apsa. Hi there, my friend. <laughs> That's why I can definitely say that this car has both power and comfortability. The most popular Civic models were the EG and EK, FB and FC, and the uh, curious lang ako car bodies, no? Hanggang ngayon kasi hindi ko pa rin alam bakit once na lalaki ka, tapos naka Honda Civic ka, eh, isa kang fuckboy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? meron sa Honda Civic. I-comment down nyo nga. Sige nga, tignan nga natin kung anong history niyang stereotyping na yan. Now, this 11th gen, also called Civic FE, uh, for me, it has grown not only in size, the look is more matured or should I say refined compared to its previous model FC. It has all the modern tech and design language similar to its big brother, the Honda Accord. But the sad truth about this compact sedan, which is very true with its uh, competitors just like the Toyota Altis and Mazda 3, as they become more equipped and sophisticated, of course, price of this model also increases as well. Ten years ago, you can buy a, a top-of-the-line Civic at 1.3M, but uh, for now, this model is currently priced at 1.7M, and uh, the lower variant, uh, which is the V-Turbo, for 1.5M already. But if you still love the brand, the model, a compact sedan that is non-hybrid, let's take a look at this top-of-the-line Civic RS Turbo, starting with the engine. All standard variants of the 11th Gen Civic is now has 1.5 liters 4-cylinder DOHC VTEC turbo gasoline engine mated to a continuous variable transmission and if you want a manual Civic, you have to get the Civic Type R cost 3.8M. It can produce 178 PS and 240 Nm meter of torque which is slightly better than the 10th generation turbo engine. And it has three driving modes, the Econ, Normal, and Sport. So that is exclusive to the RS variant. Standard safety feature includes 6RS airbags, ABS with EBD, vehicle stability control, heel start assist, speed sensing door locks, and reverse camera. 
Honda Sensing with the following features, collision mitigation braking system, adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keeping assist system, road departure mitigation system with lane departure warning, auto high beam and lead car departure notification system. So let's close this. And now let's start with the exterior. So for the front fascia, we have this uh, wide windshield. We're in nandun yung ating ADAS. And of course, yung Honda Sensing Camera. Then may kita rin natin dito yung long hood with two body lines. So dito sa ating front grille, we have of course the Honda logo with the RS badge. Meron din tayong matte black plastic uh, grills dito na connected dito sa ating mga lights. Even yung sa baba, no? Sa lower bumper din, ayan, meron din tayong parang honeycomb design na uh, matte black plastic grills. And yung ating fog lamp, no, sa baba. This one is projector type. LED na din siya. And for the headlight, this is a multi-reflector headlight. This is also LED as well as the DRLs and the turn signal lights, puro LED sila. And I can really say that this model is a bit on the sportier side, no? since marami siyang blackout compared doon sa uh, previous generation. So let's proceed with the side profile. And for the tires, as you can see, sobrang lapad niya. No? And the size of this one is 235 over 40 ZR18 and this one is Michelin Pilot Sport. Sa rims naman, this rim is in monotone matte black finish and all this brake. Suspension here at the front is MacPherson and at the back is Motlink. And for the side mirror, we have this uh, gloss black finish with the uh, LED turn signal lights and meron din tayong lane watch camera here. This one is auto fold and power adjust. Wala man tayong blind spot monitoring, pero meron tayong camera. <laughs> what the dog doing? And yung ating pillars is uh, gloss black also yung ating door handle. And this one is smart entry na din. And here's the key fob. Ayan, as you can see, Honda logo is here. Ayan, sa kabilang side naman yung mga buttons. Lock and lock. Trunk release and yung ating remote start. Of course, hindi mawawala ang physical keys. So this one has also a walk away door lock uh, feature. And if ni long press nyo tong unlock button, uh, magkukusang bababa lahat ng window. So if ever gusto nyo pasingawin yung sasakyan, Yan, bago kayo sumakay. So, let's try. So, syempre, dapat nakalak, no? And then, i-open muna natin. One press. Ayan. And then, itong pangalawa, ito na yung long press. Tada! Amazing, right? And for the dimension, we have 4,678 by 1,802 by 1,415 millimeters. For the wheelbase, we have 2,735 millimeters. And for the ground clearance, we have 135 millimeters. This latest Civic is 29 millimeters longer and its wheelbase is longer by 37 millimeters when compared to its predecessor giving us better leg room and more boot space. And now let's proceed at the back. So here at the back, we have this uh, shark's fin type of antenna in gloss black, the fogger's third brake light, and this uh, spoiler na in gloss black then. Of course, yung Civic emblem, Honda logo, and RS badge. Tail lights is very wide as you can see and this one is LED but the turn signal light is halogen as well as yung kanyang reverse light. We also have the dual exhaust pipe and meron din tayong very thin black accent dito sa kanyang lower bumper and kung mapapansin nyo wala tayong sensors dito sa likod but meron naman tayong uh, reverse camera and kung gusto nyo magpakabet ng sensors, nag-offer din naman sila dito ng aftermarket. 
So let's open the trunk. Yan din ako nagulat. <laughs> so yan, uh, unang bubungad sa 10 is yung kanyang dalawang lever dito. Uh, this one is para ma-fold yung ating second row which is 6040, no? And uh, pag pinul nyo to, actually kailangan nyo pa rin i-push yung share. Hindi ko na ma-push, ang sakit ng pilay ko. <coughs> Anyways, ayan, if you want malaking space, Yon. Pwede nyo i-fold yung ating second row. And then, we have a subwoofer here and a dome light. And nandito din yung ating spare tire na Donna type. And of course, yung tools. Cargo capacity is 495 liters. So, para siyang mid-size sedan na. Kasang kasha yung tatlo. Tatlong ako. Wow! Charay. Petit. Gusto nyo ba ang sample? Huwag na. So, nothing much here. Sarado na natin to. And now, let's call on Tony. Hi, everybody! So, nandito na tayo sa ating interior. And let's start sa ating door panel. Sa ating door panel naman, meron tayong soft plastic here. We have an ambient light here with a glossy black tile here. Tapos dito naman sa ating door handle, silver siya. Dito naman makikita natin yung mga controls and switches. For the window, auto na siya for the driver and the passenger. Tapos dito din makikita yung unlock and unlock. Pati yung ating side mirror is nandito rin yung switch niya. And dito sa ilalim, meron naman tayong bottle holder. And medyo maliit nga lang yung compartment sa side. And being top of the line ng ating RS, meron tong 12 Bose speakers para sa full experience. So dito naman sa side, makikita natin yung ating aircon vents. And mapapansin ko ang unique talaga ng style niya. Kasi yung grills dito sa aircon vent is honeycomb siya. And yung material used here is meron tayong gloss black. Ayan, napaka-unique talaga ng ating RS. So, ito naman yung brightness ng gauge natin. And ito yung Honda Sensing. So, dito pwede natin i-on and off kasi may mga drivers na ayaw nilang pinapakailaman sila ng Honda Sensing. And here, ito rin yung on and off ng ating traction control. So, let's go naman sa ating seats. 8-way power adjust na tong driver seats natin. While sa ating passenger seat naman ay 4-way manual adjust naman. So, materials used sa ating seats naman is leather with their red stitches and combination to ng suede. And yung suede na to is malambot siya sa skin natin. And hindi siya madaling uminit. So, dito naman tayo sa ating steering wheel. Ang ating steering wheel, leather wrap na siya with the red stitches here. And surrounded siya ng gloss black. And dito naman sa left side, ito yung audio control. While sa right side naman, ito yung tinatawag nating Honda Sensing or also known as ADAS. Okay, dito sa ating RS, meron din tayong paddle shifters para kung gusto nyo magpaka-professional mode, kung gusto nyo mag-racing-racing, pwede nyo gamitin to for manual. Ito naman, sa left side, meron tayong auto for the headlight. And sa right side naman, meron tayong wipers na auto na rin siya. So, meron tayong button here for the lane watch para pag liligo tayo, meron tayong view here sa ating infotainment para mas safety talaga. Tsaka less yung blind spot natin. So, check naman natin kung tilt and telescopic na itong ating Civic. Ayan. Alright. Tilt and telescopic naman siya. And, i-check natin yung horn. So, dito naman tayo sa upper part. So, eto. Meron tayong sun visor here. Meron na rin siyang vanity mirror. Ayan. Vanity mirror with halogen lights na siya. So, check natin dito sa kabila. The passenger, ayan, same lang din siya with vanity mirror and lights na rin siya. So, dito naman, meron tayong sunglass holder here. Tapos, meron na tayo ditong map light na, wow, LED na yung ating map light. And, meron tayong auto dimming na nandito yung button niya. So, sa ating headliner naman is black na siya. Pati dito sa ating pillar. And makikita nyo dito yung ating Bose na tweeter. And papansin ko all black na. And ang lakas makasporty talaga nitong Civic na RS. Sa ating dashboard naman, yung material use is soft plastic siya. And meron dito sa center natin, center speaker. And here naman, check natin yung ating glove box. Ayan. Hydraulic na siya. Slowly but... Surely. Ayan, dahan-dahan talaga, guys. So, dito naman may kita natin yung aircon vents. Sobrang na-amaze talaga ako sa design ng RS Civic natin. Kasi, isang pahaba na siyang ganito. Tapos, ang unique ng design niya. And ito, parang joystick yung adjuster niya. 
Kahit imo-move mo yung aircon vents here, naka-stock pa rin tong ating honeycomb na design. Very minimalist yung atake niya, yet sporty pa rin talaga. And, ayan nga, very smooth ang ating suede and leather materials na ginamit sa Civic natin. Okay, dito sa ating armrest, meron tayong leather material used with red stitches. And, ayan, good for two talaga to. And, pag binuksan natin sa loob, plain and simple siya, pero meron tayong tray here. And, kaya niyang dalawang position yung paglipatan. And, dito naman tayo sa ating center console. Sa ating center console naman, we have here a drive mode. Sa ating RS, meron tayong drive mode na tatlo. We have the Econ normal, and the sports mode. And take note ha, itong sports mode is only exclusive for ating RS Civic. And here, we have the electronic parking brake with auto hold na siya. Tapos meron tayong dalawang cup holder here and parang bottle holder na rin siya kasi may kalakihan siya guys. Pero meron din siyang stopper dito. Yan. Tapos, yung design nito, kung mapapansin nyo, para siyang carbon lodi. Ayan. Parang parehas nito yung nasa ating door kanina sa may switches ng window. And here naman sa ating shifter, leather na rin yung ginamit na material here. Pati dito with red stitches na siya. And meron tayong kinda silver metallic na design dito. And here naman, meron tayong wireless charging here. Meron din tayong port here na type A, dalawa. And nandito na rin yung ating 12 volt socket. So, para makita naman natin yung mga animations here, buksan na natin. Meron tayo dito ang push start button. So, twice natin siyang pipindutan. Ayan. So, kapag nag-ilawan na lahat, meron ding ilaw yung ating RS Civic. Nag-iilaw yung footrest niya. And dito naman tayo sa aircon. Sa aircon natin, we have a dual zone. Automatic na siya. Ang ganda ng mga rotary knobs. Ayan. Sobrang smooth siya pag pinaikot-ikot. Parang... Yung ginawa sa'yo ng expo. Oh, 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 oh. Hindi para. So, ayan. Ang ganda ng design niya. Very simple lang yung design niya. Pero, may dating talaga. So, here naman, meron tayong 9-inch infotainment powered by wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto na siya. So, here naman, meron tayong physical buttons here. Yan. Pati yung knob natin, napapansin ko, same to nung sa ating aircon kanina na adjuster. So, check naman natin yung ating infotainment. Meron tayong navigation here. Offline map. Meron tayong offline map sa ating RS Civic. And, meron din tayo dito vehicle settings. Sa vehicle settings natin, yan, makikita natin yung driver system, mid setup, keyless access, lighting setup, door and window setup, Maintenance info. Ayan, makikita natin dyan. Tapos ayan, makikita nyo na naman kung ano yung mga nilalaman ng ating infotainment. So, check natin yung lane watch. Ayan, click natin. Ayan, so makikita natin sa screen kapag liliko talaga tayo. Ayan, meron pang naka-indicate na object are closer than they are appear. Ay, ganun daw. So, very safe na safe talaga tayo kapag mga naka-Honda So, nandito na tayo sa ating second row. And, check natin yung door panel natin. Ayan, yung door panel natin, same material use siya. Pero, yung ating door panel here is hard plastic na siya. Compared dun sa ating driver kanina and passenger na soft plastic siya. And here, meron pa rin tayong glossy black and silver na door handle. Ayan, same material use. Leather pa rin yung ating armrest with red stitches. And meron tayong isang bottle holder here. And check naman natin yung ating headroom. Sa ating headroom naman, ayan, may isang dangkal pa. And take note, 5-1 nga pala si Tony, guys. So, ayan na yung ating headroom for reference. And meron tayong map light here. LED na rin siya. Ayan. So, dito naman tayo sa ating legroom. Kung mapapansin nyo, napakalaki talaga ng ating space here sa ating legroom. Kasi itong Honda... Civic na RS is mas pinahaba na siya, guys. Kaya, ang laki talaga ng space here sa second row. Very comfortable. Ayan, tama na po. Comfortable na. Ayan, so here naman, we have here aircon vents. Dalawa na siya. So, hindi nga lang siya tulad na nasa harap na honeycomb yung design. And meron tayo ditong abang. Abang lang. Pero sana since top of the line tong Honda na nire-review natin, sana meron tong USB man lang here. Ayan. So, dito naman tayo sa ating seats again. 
Same material use. Ang sarap talaga umupo dito. And ang ganda-ganda ng texture. Kasi suede na to. Ayan. Suede and leather na yung materials na ginamit. So, dito naman. Ayan. Sit back and relax tayo. Ito naman sa ating center na armrest. Kapag binaba natin to meron din tayo dito ang cup holder. And, ayan. Dito naman, medyo maliit lang yung view natin sa ating mirror. Kung mapapansin nyo, maliit yung view dito nung salamin. Pero, meron naman tayong camera, so okay lang yan. Bukod sa gloss black accents na mapapansin sa design sa car na to, um, noticeable din dito yung ating mga silver accents kasi nakakadagdag talaga to sa elegance and even na elegant talaga yung datingan, nandito pa rin yung pagka-sporting nyo. Talaga sobra, parang ang angas talaga tingnan kapag ito yung gamit mong car. When it comes to pagiging comfy, Um, very comfy ako dito kasi sa harap pa lang ang luwag-luwag ng space. And even dito sa second row, sa passenger, may kita nyo pag minove nyo to. Ayan, napakalaki ng space here. So, very comfy talaga. And bagay na bagay to, pak na pak to sa mga may kadate talaga. We have three available colors for our Civic RS. We have the Ignite Red Metallic, Platinum White Pearl, and the Meteoroid Gray Metallic. So, now we're done sa ating interior. So, outro naman tayo with Ate Melisu. So, let's go! Alright, your budget and that concludes our full review for the 2024 Honda Civic RS Turbo. Ilalagay lang namin dito yung contact information ni Sir Frank. If you need any questions or information, you can visit here and contact si Sir Frank and Ate Melisu. Ayan guys, and by the way, um, Pampakalma is now released in all music platforms. Ayan, that's by uh, Tai featuring JT and starring your one and only Tita B. Wow. Ayan, <laughs> you can check it out. Yung link is nasa um, description below. And before we end this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel CarVPH and the hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga susunod naming videos. So guys, see you in our next videos! Let's let wait lang. Ang panga. Hello? Open sesame. Ayaw mag-open. This latest Civic is... Uh, this latest uh, Civic is 200. Anong boots eh? So, let's open the trunk. Teka lang. <laughs> Ang kala ko ako mag-open! <laughs> Wala na. Ano pa? Cargo capacity is 495. Ano yun? Liters. Liters. <laughs> Pati yung ating window. Pati yung... A leather material. <laughs> And dito meron tayong sun vi... Meron dito... Dito meron tayong sun holder. <laughs> Hawa kay Ara. Sino naman dyan? Ako lang to guys. Sino naman dyan girl? <laughs>